It's another rainy day in Foley, Alabama again, and uh, we're at the campground, and we've got uh, a guy coming. He's supposed to be cleaning the black tank and the gray tank for us today, and uh, I don't know if he comes in the pouring down rain or not. Hopefully, he'll let up. He's not supposed to be here for about an hour, but, um, you know, it, it's just like anything. You always have maintenance issues, and we haven't had an, it flushed out really good other than what we do. And so it's time to have somebody do it, make sure everything's working okay. We're here for about a month before we head off again, and uh, we're going to be doing a couple volunteer projects as we head up the East Coast and then do a work camping when we get all the way up into Vermont. We're going to stay there for, I don't know, several months. So, and today, I guess it, since we're inside, we'll just be working on some paperwork, some videos. Um, we had this thing with our steering wheel. The, the steering wheel tilts back and uh, forward or back. And then we made a nice little table to go on top of it when we're setting. But the, I don't know, component that, that makes it tilt up and down broke. So we've been trying to find a new piece for the steering column. Otherwise, we have to get a whole new steering column, which is $1,000 to have it, to buy it, have it put in. So we're hoping to find a piece soon. So anyway, that's where we are right now. Now, in the last video, we talked about getting started in full-time RVing, and um, we're going to add more to that. We're going to put in some essentials, um, and we're going to talk about some do's and don'ts. We're working on a, a downloadable um, print that we can um, provide for free. It's almost ready, so we'll be getting that out probably within, I don't know, no later than two months. It'll be on one of our videos. So um, stay with us, and we'll have more uh, today. I'll show you a little bit more around this area and some of the things we've been doing. I put some pictures in here of some of the activities and the things going on at this RV park here. Most of the snowbirds that come every year um, put all of this together. They plan the, the breakfast menu. They serve. I deleted their names and phone numbers off of the monthly menu. They plan all the activities and they uh, have a Mardi Gras uh, float in the parade that they put together every year. It's really kind of cool. Another day in the life of a full-time camper. We're getting ready to head over to uh, Mississippi today. It's a couple hour drive over. We're going to go over and visit some friends we haven't seen in quite a few years. It'll be an interesting trip. Uh, the last time we went out was saw these folks. They was footloose and fancy free, no kids or anything. And in the meantime, they've adopted two little girls. So it's going to be interesting going over to visit them and see how they're doing. Uh, Yesterday, it pretty well rained all day, but a guy did come out and flush out our tanks. And it's pretty interesting, just the gunk and stuff you see coming out of those tanks, even though we thought we was keeping them pretty well cleaned out. There was a lot of stuff coming up, floating out of there. Uh, and he gave us some uh, few tips and techniques, and he told us about a Ventura uh, flush valve that we're going to get. Valterra, I'm sure, not Ventura, Valterra flush valve. We're going to get one of them and try them. He says that'll help us keep it cleaned out. He also told us on our gray tank to run down uh, some disinfectant soap like a, uh, a Mr. Clean or anything along that. Something that had a, a scent to it with some super hot water and do that on every one of your drains and it keeps your traps and stuff cleaned out. And then the, after that all gets into the gray tank, let the gray tank fill all the way up for a day or two and then flush it out. Generally, we let our gray tank, since we're full-time, we let our gray tank open 90% uh, of the time. And uh, he suggested maybe do it like once a month to let it fill all the way up and flush it out like that. So that'll keep that smelling better. And the uh, black tank, uh, he told us about a product that he recommends called Unique uh, Enzymes or uh, 
I forget exactly what the name of it was. We got it written down, but we'll put a link to that at the bottom. And uh, like I say, there's always something new you can learn. And and uh, whenever somebody comes out to, to work on our camper, if I'm not doing it myself, I sure like to pick their brain so I can see what's going on. So maybe I can do it myself the next time. So we'll talk to you later. Well, another rainy day here again, so uh, we can't really get out and do much today. So I guess we're just going to show you some videos of what we've been doing here in Foley, Alabama. And, and uh, go okay. with that. You got it going, Jerry? She ain't going in any further than that, I don't think. My crazy wife. Was it super cold? No. Be sure to stay with us for the next videos. And we did put a link to the black tank treatment in the descriptions.